and welcome to me and my apocalypse haircut. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to assume, since you watch this fucking shit, that you're like me. And you don't like anything quite as much as when you go to a store and they're having a two-for-one sale. <laughs> you know, you can buy two of something, you only pay one price. It's 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 like finding a treasure. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, on the farm and in my life, I like nothing better than being able to get two things done at one time. Yep. So today I'm going to take you through a bunch of things that I'm doing that are actually accomplishing more than one thing at a time. So the first thing I did this morning was I had to clean up dog shit, which we've talked about before. Fucking animals. Assholes. Yes. Right? And, and of course, my dogs especially are especially fond of shitting right on the trails I walk on so that I, you know, <laughs> constantly. Okay. So the first thing I did was pick up dog shit. Then I came over here with a bucket full of dog shit. I stuck it in the corner over there in the go-between to stop coyotes, other dogs, cats, raccoons, shit like that from coming into the property. Right. It's kind of a neat thing that you can do with your dog shit. You got to clean it up anyway, It's like right? marking the territory, You're right? marking your territory because, you know, your dogs, they smell like their dung smells like predatory animal right. to any kind of wildlife and sometimes to other dogs depends on the other dog okay so now though that I've got my bucket over here mm -hmm. and I've got my manure fork what I'm doing is see all this horrible algae on top of my freaking pond mm -hmm. that you're like why didn't that die when it was sub-zero temperatures I don't know <laughs> Because it would have been nice. Okay, but, so what am I doing? I'm cleaning it off with my manure fork as much as I can, and I'm collecting it. Because, you know what algae does really well? It breaks down really well and makes excellent compost for your garden. Oh. So, I'm gonna just skim it right off the top there, put it in the bucket, and see, two fur. I get the stuff off my pond, I get buckets full of compost, at the same time. There's nutrients in algae that aren't in land plants. It's not this kind of algae, especially detrimental to your fish. You can see that it wants to build a film that kind of suffocates everything underneath it. My son has this growing in his pond. He often um, puts bales of straw in there, mm -hmm. and the straw, you know, my son's a genius. And it, uh, it goes around and it picks it all up. And then, of course, that could be a two for two, because then you could pick up that bale that's been soaking in there and has soaked up all this algae, and you could compost that. Talk about some really good compost. But yeah. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna fish this off here. And I've got a couple of other things I'm doing today that are also going to be twofers, where I'm getting two things done at the same time. I don't know if I told you or not, but this entire area was stacked full of trash. Um, and occasionally, all these years after this has been a chicken yard forever, I still find pieces of glass and trash usually after a rain so there you go yeah so when you throw your trash around people guess what no. yep. okay so i've got two buckets of this and if you'll remember from before i told you i write the date on uh-huh okay so this one is written on the front and this is the 2020 bucket so it's still got about another year to go so go ahead and pour this in to that one and I'm going to pour it into the one next to it. Which is? Also 2020. Also 2020. And those will... I do not know, by the way, whether chickens will eat the algae or not. If they do, that much better. Yep. I, you know, I don't eat compost as much as it would save me on feed bills. So there. Okay, so now I'm here already. I have my buckets and I brought my shovel with me. 
And I have the wheelbarrow already in the shop, mm -hmm. which I used to cart these heavy bastards over here. You can see this is a 2019 barrel. Mm -hmm. So the 2019, oh, this is a 2017 barrel. So maybe that one would be better dirt. Okay, so I've got to do some planting today and I need some dirt. So while I'm here, already, I'm just gonna get some dirt. See that beautiful dirt that was all Garbage. Garbage and <laughs> shit and food yeah. and maggots and whatever and else dead carcasses there, dead and animals. Uh, pieces of dead animals, you know. Do not, by the way, put your head right over the top of that. Um, because if there's any spore in there, that can be really bad. And I think I've told you that before. At any rate. So I'm going to get a couple of buckets of dirt, because I need them. And then I'm going to go show you what else I'm doing today. Okay, so I'm going to dump these. Why am I dumping these? Because I don't want these buckets at the other place. And when I get done done, I'm going to the other place. So they can just go right here in the wheelbarrow, which does go at the other place. It saves me a couple of steps. There you go. All right, so now I need my trusty tool which you guys have seen me use so many times before. My trusty scoop. made it out of a vinegar bottle or bleach bottle scoop. One of the most versatile tools on my farm is that scoop. If you ain't got you a scoop, you need to make you a scoop. <laughs> okay, we good for now? Yeah, we're going out here. Okay, I'll just keep you on then. Well, you don't have to keep me on. You don't have to turn me on, but don't turn me off. <laughs> That's my hit record that I didn't make. Uh, uh. Yeah, there you go. All right. Oh, we're oh, I know what you're making. Yeah. So, I already fixed these. As you can see, these are paper egg cartons. I cut the top off. I cut the little lip off. I stick them like this because this keeps the bottom from falling apart. Mm -hmm. It helps keep the bottom from falling apart. Okay, so some of you already do this. So this is not going to be that big a deal for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my seedlings in these. The nice things about them is that you can just pop them apart almost like a peat pot. Um, poke a couple holes in it. You just poke a hole in the bottom or tear the side out. And it'll be just fine. Mm, look at that soil. See, that's some good shit there. Sometimes, literally. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's literally some good shit. Well, anyway, any rate, okay, so I'm going to fill those up. And then I'll go get my seeds and I'll decide what I'm going to plant. And then I'm going to put them in the cold frame. Why am I going to put them in the cold frame? Because if we get another freeze, because most plants will start just fine during the day. If it gets cold at night, I can close the cold frame. Right. And that way my seedlings will do pretty good. Next year I hope to have, you know, I hope to have a greenhouse by next year. But we'll see what, how that goes. Yeah, hopefully we'll be building that on this video here. And hopefully we'll build that and show you. We'll. I'll be filming while she yeah, builds. That's right. There you go. She also works who only sets in film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait! Without making any fucking money! <laughs> I told you fuckers nobody to make money on fucking YouTube once I started doing it. <laughs> I ruined YouTube for everybody. What can I say? That's okay. I already took out the publishing industry, so there was, you know, and the B&B &B market, so now it was time to hit somebody else. Now that is a rock. Huh. It somehow got in the compost, man. Probably picked up with somebody's shit. Oh, and there's some stuff that didn't rot yet. Yet, and like, except if, unless it's stone, eventually it would rot. Now the bone sometimes takes a long time, so I sometimes just pull the bone out. And, and put it I'll back put in. Them in the, I'll put them, either put them back in the compost bin in one of the other ones, mm -hmm. or... I'll take them to the fi the fireplace and burn them up, mm -hmm. and then use the ash in the garden. It it breaks it down quick that way, so you get all that good bone stuff. See, there's another rock. 
Well, that's what happens when you clean up chicken shit out of the <laughs> chicken yard. You're going to get a rock occasionally. It happens. Don't judge me. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So now it's just putting seeds in there, you know, and I'll pick out what I'm going to plant and I'll stick them in there. Then I'll take them over and put them in the uh, thing. I probably will not water them today. I probably will water them for the first time tomorrow. Well, because it rained and that dirt is wet. This dirt is super wet, but besides that, sometimes you need your seeds to actually stay, and sometimes when you water, it washes them right back up. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. So give them a day to sit there and kind of swell a little bit. Okay. Okay.